We recently did some renovations at home in preparation for the arrival of the little one. This ended up in me moving into a new space in our spare room, but the problem was the space felt so light and fresh that when I put my old, tired looking desk into it, it just didn't work. I've been lusting for a stand-up desk for ages, and in putting my new room together, my wife finally convinced me to pull the trigger. So here are the configurations that I chose. I started out looking at something basic. I really wanted to keep it under $1,000. I was looking at right around that eight to $900 mark. And you can get a pretty decent desk for that price. There are some really good options in the Melamine with the wood veneer. My personal favorite was the Curly Birch. However, I ended up going with a hardwood finish. First of all, the hardwood desks came in the bigger size, which is the two meter. And secondly, this room is kind of like quite neutral, a little bit sterile in fact, so I wanted something a little bit more natural feeling and a little bit more luxury and I just, I fell in love with the pheasant wood finish. I ended up going with that. The hardwood collection also comes in the two meter size. I really wanted that extra length as the desk that I had come from was like 2.4 meters. It was quite long and I just got used to all the space. It would be hard to shrink too much from that. In the end, I knew that I wanted a dark desk for this room. The rest of our house has dark floorboards and I wanted to sort of continue that theme in here. So it was between the pheasant wood and the walnut. I ended up going with the pheasant wood. I just really liked that every desk looks so different because of the natural variation in the wood. The walnut was lovely too, but every YouTuber chooses walnut furniture for their desk setup. My first impression, it has this beautiful satin finish. It's not glossed, it's not like a full matte, it's just this very smooth, sleek satin finish. I think it's gonna suit really well in here. There's lots of charcoal, white and gray, and there's lots of beautiful natural light. So I think this is gonna be the centerpiece of the whole room. For a big heavy desk like this, you need the dual motors, meaning one on each leg, and I went all out with the cable management options. It seems like an expensive upgrade for what it is, when you consider it's basically just an aluminium tray and a couple of power boards, but to be honest, it is by far my favorite feature of the desk, and I would spend that money again in a heartbeat. It's not just easier to set up, it actually makes it fun. The system works brilliantly and I love how easy it is to just swap things in and out without having to untangle cables or cut cable ties. The channel has spring-loaded clips on both sides and holes every which way which make it so easy to run cables in and out. The clipping power boards, again, they're expensive for what they are, but they save you a ton of space because they're such a low profile. It is so, so good. My entire YouTube and podcasting battle station plugs into one wall outlet. A really small little detail that I like is the power boards have sideways outlets on the end, which means when you add a larger adapter, the cable runs perfectly out the side through the channel. I've used a Rode microphone arm for my podcast for the longest time, and honestly it works great, but it just doesn't look that good. It's such a small thing, but it's something that really matters to me, and it was a good excuse to pick up one in my desky order as well. In my opinion, it doesn't move around as smoothly or as easily as the Rode version that I had, but to be honest, the trade-off is so worth it. It is like 10 times better looking, and the cable management is excellent. In that way, it destroys the Rode PSA one, and it just looks so much better on my desk. I don't think Desky actually makes this product because I've seen it elsewhere or at least a very similar version of it, but it's fantastic. It's so easy to assemble, it's really strong, I'm pretty sure it's rated to like 10 kilos, and it just looks so nice and chunky as one of the main features of the desk. It's the only monitor stand that I've used where I've been really happy about the height of it. The cable management options are awesome too, so easy to snap on and off, but by far my favorite feature of this monitor is the way the vase mount clips on and off the top of the stand. The previous monitor that I used was a two-man job. I had to get someone to support the weight of the monitor while I awkwardly crawled underneath and screwed it off. This one means I can change the setup on my own and if I wanted to, I could have a second monitor on standby and switch them out very easily. Also, the clamp itself has a nice rubber pad on it to protect the surface of the desk and it just makes sense. I don't know why all products don't do this. I've been really happy with the configuration that I have. The only regrets that I have is not buying the wheels. The desk is so big and heavy and I'm the sort of person who likes to move things around every couple of months. So that's one thing that I'll have to revisit in the future. 
Although having said that I do use this desk on carpet so I'm not sure how useful the wheels would be. The control panel itself is very clean looking and easy to use. It has an up button and a down button and then four presets. I currently have it set to one is my standing height, two is my sitting height, three is all the way up, four is all the way down. And I also by accident discovered a really handy safety feature that they have built in. And that's if, if you're moving the desk and you bump it or it hits something underneath, it has a safety feature where it will stop and then it will back up a couple of inches to not squash what's underneath. Anyway, that's my new hardwood desky dual sit stand desk. I'm absolutely in love with it and I'm so glad that I spent a little bit of extra money to get all the bells and whistles. This setup is going to be ever evolving even in the couple of days that it took me to film and edit this video. The things on my desk and in my room have changed a lot so there will definitely be a full office tour coming soon but for now that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Desky if you're in Australia and looking for a great sit-stand desk and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Pew.